Hello, welcome back to Latex Twitter. Okay, in this video, I'll be showing you how you can uh, insert values into a table. I can insert values into a table as well as omit some value. Let's take, for example, the table in Gartex, select star from Gartex. So if you see in this, you notice that uh, last name on the tab a is new for the first name. There is no first name. There is no under uh, first name. We also have tab a, and the column of the last name there is not is totally blank. So I'm going to show you how you can do this. So if you want to insert, for example, you want to insert the first name, if you want to omit a last name. This is how you are going to do. Insert into Gartec. So you give now the columns in which you want to insert the columns name. So the one we want to insert the first name. The first name. We don't want the last the last name, but we want the age as well as the contact. Space value in bracket. You give him the first name. The first name it should be in quotes. Let's say, for example, Anna. Anna. And the H28 contact. That's it. So we see we say insert into Gatek. We have this I have specific given the column names. We have the first name, the age, and the contact. We have omitted the last name. Values Anna. This Anna goes now for the first name. 28 will go to the age, and this contact number will go for the contact color. Let's press and see what's the result. So we have query okay, one row affected. Now if we select star from Gartec you see that on the last uh, last field or last line we have Anna which is the first name the last name is new the contact the H is there 28 and the contact is given now may sometimes we don't want to have this new we don't want to have this new value so the way you can play around it is by Doing the same thing, but in this case we are going to change. You give a last name, last name, comma. So we are going to have four columns, but in the last name, you don't still want to insert the last name, but we want it to be there should be a blank space. We don't want to add the new by default. Because by default, the uh, you new a new will be returned. So we don't want this. We want to remove this here. So you just simply go to where you have the last name. You put two columns. You put two quotes. Sorry. You put two quotes. Comma. So if you see here, you are going to see that we have the last name, which is uh is actually the last name. Let's give the different name of Anna. Let's give the table. Yes. So we have a last name, which is table, the, uh, the first name, which is table, the last name, which is nothing, we have given, it's not an empty space, so the H is 28, let's give it, uh, uh, let's say 30, so as we with the ones that are there already, then we have the contact, which is there, you can say 00, zero. okay, if we press enter, and we Display the information, select so star from Gartec. You will see that on that table, the last, there's no last name. There's no last name, and the age is 30, and this is the contact. So when you insert, you see the way we run our command, we had 00 here, 006. So the 00 is not considered unless you want it to be included. 
you give some values. Let's say plus. And uh, you select, you will see this thing included. Two is there. Okay. Now, we don't want this. Uh, we don't want the, the empty space. If you don't want the empty space, you just have to remove the column. Remember, the number of uh, columns, that the number of values inserted here should be equal to the number of columns that you have been given under in bracket on this area. Okay, so that means if I remove this, if I remove this space and I press enter, I'm going to have an error. It's going to be an error. That means that what? The column counts doesn't ma match value counts at row one. So the column, the number of columns here we have one, two, three, and four. And the value that we want to insert, there are only three of them. So for us to correct this, we have to come here and remove. Make sure to match. It should be the same. Number of columns should be the same and the number of values are inserted. Okay, if you run this, you see there is no error. If you want now, Select from this is that everything will be inserted and things are working normal. Okay, thank you very much for watching. This will be the end of the video. Don't forget to subscribe. See you in our next video.